So Mark, first of all, welcome back to Solly on Wars and I guess first impression, you, you know all about the place, so, so pleased to be back. Yeah, I'm delighted to be back, delighted to be back uh, here. I'd like to send a big thank you to Andy Pountney at Starbridge um, for letting it happen. You know, I, it's all happened very quickly and, you know, the place has changed one hell of a lot for the better. Um, we've got great facilities, club with real ambition and it's just, you know, I've got 11 weeks to try and, you know, match that ambition and, and, and make an impact, hopefully like we had last time we were here. I was going to say back in the familiar surroundings, yeah. of course we're not really, are we? Back in a, a new training ground that you've obviously seen for, I guess, the first time yeah. today and first impressions on that? Oh, it's fantastic, yeah, fantastic, great. I mean, we were in the gym at the moment. It's, you don't get many of these in, you know, in the lower ends of the football league. It's 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 superb, um, and and just testament to my, to the amount of work that everybody's done over the, the last three years since I, I was here. Um, really good, real you know, positive energy about the place. Um, just like you know, it's like I say, my job now is to galvanise the players and just just. You know, I'm sure I'll do the slightly things slightly differently to, you know, to to Jimmy. But my way of working will just be to try and get the players to enjoy it, to work hard, and and make sure that we try and get something out of the remaining 11 weeks of the of the season. How does the the situation differ? I guess back in 2017 it was rooted to the bottom, and this time around it's I, I guess the squad is there. Yeah. Um, I guess it's a case of picking it back up. Yeah, I mean, you look at the squad. I've got a, a decent sized squad. Um, we've got some decent players. We've got a few in the in the injury room and in the treatment room at the moment, which is, you know, a bit, a bit of a blow for us. Um, but you know, we've got the capable. We've got we've got some capable, more than capable players. We've got some good players. Um, and for whatever reason, there's been a change. And you know, all I'm looking forward to most, you know, what I'm looking forward to most is getting out on the grass, working with them, giving them ideas that I want to just them to work on over the, the, the coming weeks and, and just see where that takes us you know there's no no pressure on anybody it's just you know we 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 want to finish the season strongly the club wants to and, I, and I'm just delighted to be given the chance and allowed the chance from Starbridge to, to come in and, and just get work, get to work on the training ground. How do you approach the first I guess couple of weeks couple of games? Um, just assessment quickly you know it's been a whirlwind 24 hours you know I've watched a couple of games within that period already clips and you know you're getting bombarded with this and that that you got to do but that's, that's what you live for you know that's what I've done most of my life um, and at the minute home schooling's finished so I'm you know I'm, I'm the kids back at school I'm I'm delighted to be given this opportunity it gets it gets me out there it gets me doing what I love and and we just you know, we'll be watching videos and just watching the players in training. You know, I'm, I'm just going to try and make it as easy as I can for them. You know, um, and and we'll try and find a way of playing that 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 we can get the most out of. It's been a weird season so far, and we've only just passed the halfway stage. So we're in March, halfway, just halfway through. There's a lot to play for, and a lot of points to to gain. Yeah, I, I mean, I, bit, I got a bit confused this morning. I'm not sure how many games are actually left. You know, with I don't know what's happening with Dover and and uh, it was on Kings Lynn. So so listen, we've got I think it's eleven weeks, and we've just got to give it our best shot. You know, we've got some talent in the group. Um, hopefully, one or two come back out of the treatment room, like I said, and just come to work with a smile on our faces, which I'm sure they've done for the last you know year or or three years since I've been away. That's that's not a slight on anybody, but you've just got to enjoy it. Um, and, and just see where you know a, a few wins and a bit of momentum can can hopefully take us. Does it feel like a bit of unfinished business? I guess that's that's what I've been thinking for the last 24 hours. Yeah, you know, when I when I got asked the question, um, definitely unfinished business. You know, I um, I spoke to the club a year ago. You know, when the, when the, when Tim left. Um, but it wasn't to be, and and you know it's probably the only club I probably would have, would have come back for, to be honest. So I'm 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 delighted to be here. Um, we're going to give it everything we've got for 11 weeks. We're going to try and get the best out of the players, and and just make an impact like 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 we know we we hopefully can. 
of course you brought Neil with you, your yep. trusty assistant, and what, do, what does he bring and how do you work together? Um, me and Neil have worked together many years, you know, we, 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 and we know each other's strengths and we know each other's you know, weaknesses, if you like, and, and, and we work well as a pair. He's, he's a good coach, a really good coach, he's got a good eye, and, and it, you know, the club were good in allowing me to bring somebody in to work alongside Quinney, to work alongside Carts and the other staff, you know, the, the technical staff and, and the, um, the treatment, you know, the strength and conditioning, all the guys together. We're going to work tirelessly, like I said, to just see if we can get a few wins and, and, and some momentum. and and just start climbing that table like we, like we all hope can happen. I guess it's straight into match preparation as well with having yeah. on Saturday and I guess you know the first game for any managers one to look forward to but obviously we want, we want to get the points on the board. Yeah. Oh, we, it, it, you know, we couldn't have had many tougher starts to be fair. Halifax away, followed by Bromley away, followed by Torquay away. So it's a tough start, we know that. But we, we've got some good players, like I said. Um, and we'll pick a team for Saturday um, and just try and encourage them to, you know, it's going to be slightly different, I, I'm, I'm no doubt about that, but I still want my team to play football, I still want my team to excite, I still want my team to create chances, probably just do it a slightly different way to others have in the past and, and that's what happens when, when a new manager comes in. Um, so, really looking forward to it. The lads have, you know, had an hour on the grass with them today, perhaps a little bit more, where we've just tried to just change the mindset a little bit, you know, um, and just get them to buy into what we're trying to do, you know, and, and if they do that and get results, then then we, we can we can hopefully, I say, take off. Just finally, I guess, a message for the fans. I quit on social media, you know, they're pleased that you're back at the club and. You know, there's plenty of time to reminisce, but now we've got to you know, push on with Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean listen, I, I apologise. I've not, not really spoken to anybody about why I left Solihull in the first place three years ago, and a couple of things that, that perhaps we'll talk about another time. Um, it was actually the worst decision of, in my life, that I, you know, football decision that I've ever made. Um, make no bones about that. Uh, but fantastic to see the pl club progress like it has done, you know. Uh, Daryl and, and now Tim on board as well, and, and all the board, all the you know the people associated who've done wonderful things with the club. I'm just I'm really grateful for the opportunity. I'm going to give it everything I've got. There is unfinished business, and like I said, we've got to hit the ground running. You know, it might you know we've we've got to. We haven't because we, we're, we're not a million miles away, but we've we've got to make an impact soon, and we and we, we all want that. You know, but, it, but it's not going to be easy. We know it's a tough league, it's a it's a man's league, and we're going to have to be prepared to go and roll our sleeves up against away at Halifax on Saturday. And and you know, it might be totally different the weekend, the, the following weekend. But you got to you got to be aware of opponents, but you've also got you got to do play to your strengths. And hopefully, we'll have identified what we think we can, how we can do things, how we can perhaps see a bit of improvement over the coming weeks, and and hopefully, we can work on that. Thanks, Mark, and all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice to be back.